But yeah, I think uh, I think the reason Quebec has the best maple syrup is probably the weather conditions allow for the best harvest of sap. Quebec has a union monopoly and producers that get screwed by production quotas move out to Vermont for unregulated production. Oh, you told me that. Didn't you tell me something like that? Oh, yeah. That you can't make as much maple syrup as you want yeah, or ma- they the, store... The, the maple what? syrup thing is like fucking mafia level oh, bullshit. I, I, the, the, yeah, it, it, tell us, tell us. You, I, I don't remember exactly, but tell us. I don't remember exactly either, but basically... Um, to make maple syrup in Quebec, you have to like go by certain standards. They like mix it up. They tell you how much you can produce, so they can basically have a limited supply at all times, making it its price higher. Um, but here's here's how maple it, mafia. Here's how it works in reality. Okay, here's how it works in reality. <laughs> the fuck with the Canadian maple syrup mafia. Uh huh. It tastes better. So they're going to get away with anything they feel like. Doing. That's it. There you go. It's done. <laughs> Finished. <laughs> what? Fuck it. Damn. Same with avocados from Mexico. It's all cartels. He watches some like documentaries like that on Netflix. And then he, he tells me what about it. Yes. I do think we've also... You have watched on avocados too, right? Yeah. There's a same series. Yeah. With that like rotten. Yeah. There's a series. Yeah. And was it this, was it, was the same series with the wine that they yeah. make it? What was that? Wine mafia. Wine mafia too. Basically, but they get cheap wine and they baptize it. No, not just that. Much much worse than that. Um, they would import like wine from Spain to France, and they would call it French wine from a particular region or something, and. Um, I don't know, but presumably Spanish wine is like fucking urine or something. <laughs> and French wine is like uh, oh. liquid from the gods. <laughs> um, so this is like a, a high level like crime. And apparently the government doesn't crack down on this enough. And I gave you some statistic. I forget what it is now, but it was like in one year, um, in, in one like sting operation, in like one operation, they seized like 12 million bottles of counterfeit wine. Like just, just so you have some level of idea of like the scale of this counterfeit wine situation in France. So basically some, some of like the local farmers who make like real wine were fed up with the inaction of the government. So they basically made like a wine mafia. <laughs> Okay, okay, here is also, we need to tell the story about uh, the, the cheese that got lost. Oh, yeah. It's very fitting, because I always find it very amusing. Not amusing for this, the people that actually lost you it. You know, this but... story is so old. The story is like 15 years ago okay. or something. So apparently one of the most expensive cheeses in the world was from someplace in Canada. And their special way of making the cheese was they get a gigantic ball of cheese and they throw it in the lake for the greater part of a year. A specific lake. I'm not bullshitting you guys. Because it's uh, cold. Yeah. It's a specific temperature. Anyway. In the so lake. come time to take the cheese out of this lake, they couldn't find it anymore. <laughs> so the company was like near bankruptcy. It was like 15 years. They might have actually gone bankrupt from Because that. one one block of cheese cost like like the, the like hundred thousand dollars yeah one block of cheese was like in the in the tens of thousands or a hundred thousand dollars yeah it was like it's like and then they like lost sixty thousand dollars or something but again like 15 years and ago was 60, it was it stolen no. or did they lose the anchors like the the floaters i, I don't guess, know not anchors the story that i read was that they couldn't find it <laughs> i mean <laughs> yeah the lake took uh, her cheese. Wait, wait, wait. There is also a, a maple syrup story of the stolen maple syrup that they tracked something. God, oh, there's so I many cool st- stories. <laughs> you remember, you told it to me that yeah, they tracked like this, forklift yeah. or something because they needed, uh, because it's heavy. They stole like barrels of maple syrup. Yeah, I remember something like that, but I don't remember the details of the story. It's been too yeah. long. Sorry. The lake is a lac Saint-Jean. The lake one uh, is one of the north 
northernmost lakes following into the St. Lawrence River. Okay. So it is, it is, it's not an urban legend, right? No, it's a news story. Fancy cheese is such a scam. Making something moldy does not make it better. I do not like moldy cheese. I agree with that. What I do like, and it's not that something that I, I knew, like I, I discovered it probably the last like couple of years. The best cheese ever for me is balsamic cheese. Cheese that has basically balsamic vinegar inside somehow it's awesome it's amazing every brand of it like i've never tried balsamic cheese that is bad um yeah lock Lo- saint john is not just one cheese it's a number of cheeses okay. are, are left in there and this is a practice since 1890 but it's not it's not moldy it's like just cheese you know with balsamic lake cheese some guy stole a lot of maple syrup from the reserve in Quebec. Yes, but there is a story of how they track them down that is funny. It's entertaining there. Do you do you know that story? I remember vaguely, yeah. Something to do with like, they, they well, tracked down the, the, no, the no. rental records of forklifts that were able to lift that much maple syrup. Something like that. Yeah. Do you know about the cheese made with larva inside? I've seen that on like YouTube or TV or something. It's somewhere in Italy and I believe yeah. it's outlawed, right? I don't think it's it, it's illegal to make it anymore. No, like, no, 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 no. It's a different one. It's in like it's in like some super fancy. No, I think it's it's illegal. It's in an area that produces like some of the best food in the world, and some of the farmers there make it still. It's not illegal to make it or consume it. It's illegal to sell it. Oh, okay. So, uh, so you're like some people basically, <laughs> under the table is the money. No, no, no. Some people literally like at the show that Somewhere we saw. Italy, we yeah. saw this on Bizarre Foods, I believe. The guy went there, and the farmer's like, "Yeah, I'll just give you some. Here you go." You just can't sell it. You can't. You can't sell it. It's disgusting. I, I don't know how it's called. It's not called gorgonzola. Maggot no. cheese. No. It is literally, um, they leave uh, the cheese, they, they let flies sit on the cheese and deposit their eggs, and then the eggs turn into tiny maggots. They're alive, they're on the cheese. Yeah, you, you eat that. And you eat that. It's like, it's, it's pretty crazy. The Bizarre Foods guys loved it. And the guy, I, the guy wasn't like, ooh, ooh. The guy's like, oh I, my god, this is the best. I don't know how that is sanitary, though. Like, I, I have no idea. I have no idea either. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've definitely seen that. Cheese and no scam. Parmigiano Reggiano is aged for three years. There's a big difference between the authentic stuff and the knockoff farm. That is, that is correct, yes. It's forbidden like, to import to any country outside of Italy. No, I... I okay, well, in, I think in the show that we saw, I think it was Bizarre Foods... I think he said at that time, at least, they were not allowed to sell it. Maybe, maybe they changed the rest. restrictions on food and stuff change all the time. So, like, you know, if we saw like a, if we have a story from a show that we saw like five years ago yeah. or ten years ago or fifteen years ago, you're right. It might not be true today. It might not be. I like your nails, creep. What? But Easy. my nails are Easy. all done. I went into the trouble four a.m. yesterday, last night, to make them. What? You don't like my nails? The maggots are just extra protein. That's what I said, yeah. I heard about a beer made in Mexico that's brewed with fermented human chewed corn. Mm-hmm. Why? Maybe... Like, who... Maybe the saliva has some the tasty <laughs> enzymes or something. Thought of it. Who is like... Nyum, nyum. This corn tastes awesome. Let me spit it out and then put it into this beer. And maybe the beer... Who? How? Like... Also, what's the deal? I never understood. What's the deal with um, the, the warm in the tequila? Does anyone know? I know some good, really good tequila and really expensive tequila. You mean maggot? They have a warm inside the bottle. You mean a maggot? A worm, yeah, like it's a big worm. It's not a maggot. It's oh. not like a tiny one. It's a big. It's okay. a one, just one, and it's it's also considered super lucky if you get the worm oh. in your glass. But I awesome. I don't know what's what's the deal with that. I don't know what it offers. The maggot cheese is out a lot apparently. It is apparently now and right now. Okay. T- today it's out. Saying she'll try any food once. If you can guarantee to me that it's 
uh, like actually safe, I would do it for, for the Instagram, for the Instagram, I would do it <laughs> for the content. I don't know if you, you guarantee me that it's safe. I would do it for the experience. I would, but like, I would need serious guarantees because I don't believe, I don't, I, I can't believe how a cheese that had, has been like basically pooped on by flies and laid eggs on by flies and then fermented can be safe to eat. I don't know. Mm. So I would try weird foods, even the weirdest of foods. I would need serious guarantees that they're actually okay to eat. And not okay to eat for, because someone else ate them. Because people that like live in that area and eat this frequently, they may have like developed immunity to that. I don't know. Like for, for me. <laughs> they put sanitizers on their flies. Yes. They have them like sit first on a Lysol wipe and like wipe their legs totally. and then they go sit on the cheese. Uh huh. <laughs> what is that nice? We are looking at uh, like actively right now, we're looking at channel point rewards. Uh, it's just a bit difficult. I don't want to do something cheesy. Um, <laughs> no, it's, a, re it's a real challenge. Uh, what's my opinion on Cobra Heart Shots? What is that? According to some food scientists, it's in, it is possible for the larva to survive the stomach acid and remain in the intestine, leading to a condition called pseudomyesis. There have been documented cases of pseudomy pseudomyesis with PCASI. No. Fuck no. What happened? Basically, if you eat that cheese, there have been cases where the larva actually survives the stomach acid, acids yeah. and they don't die yeah. and they just stay inside you oh. and I'm guessing they... You burp flies? I hope not! Oh, okay. <laughs> I hope not! Oh my god, that sounds terrifying. <laughs> like, the absolute horror. Seriously. Oh, okay. <sighs> You'd love balut. Okay, wait, I, I need to search what this is. Balut and what else? Cobra you, hard shots. You, you searched balut before. It was some weird ass food that you said you would oh, be okay yes, with eating. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, I would be okay of trying for the gram. Okay. Not eating, like, okay. What is it again? Fertilized developing egg embryo that is boiled and eaten from oh, the cell. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. As I said, for the gram, for the experience. Uh, cobra heart for any reason. Oh, it's an actual cobra heart. Oh, it's a Vietnamese vodka, and the snake's blood. I would, I would uh, eat that like much easier than I would drink that much easier than like balut, for example. <laughs> Drinking something, I think it's easier than eating. Still, my, you have to ask why. But like yes, if, if, if it tasted really good, it would be in many places. But the reason it's like this one country's special thing that they do, it's probably because it tastes like shit. Okay? It, it, it's definitely for that reason. Yes, blood is strength. Exactly. It, it probably tastes like shit, but it doesn't kill you. And you're like, wow, I'm such a beast for drinking a cobra heart. Yeah, wow, you did it. Amazing. So, such bravery. We'll give you a medal, dude. None of this fake content bullshit. No, uh, for, for the gram, for the gram. Mm. <laughs> Have you ever tried the brandy where they grow the pear in the bottle? That sounds so normal <laughs> after everything we've Yeah, please, done. dude. <laughs> and so Come vegan, on. too. Like, why do you have to have, like, worms and maggots and blood and stuff? Have a pear. So what do they, they, what they put that? the bottle over the pear when it's small and it continues to grow? Escargot is as crazy as I'd get with food. Escar uh, snails are easy. They're, they're like super easy. And they they're taste like their they're texture. I've, I have eaten snails. Their texture is weird because it's slimy, but the taste is basically nothing. And it just gets taste of whatever. Usually they put like um, herb, herb butter. So it's, it's whatever. She's tried haggis. Haggis I tried. It, it wasn't Went to Scotland. actually bad. Um, it was, it was not something I would crave, but it was something that, you know, I would eat again. Yeah. No, I don't believe snails are vegan. <laughs> well, I mean, are they like in between? Aren't basically snails like... Escargot is just like... an excuse to eat butter. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Are there snakes like like moving mushrooms basically? Yeah. Are they? Mm. Kind of. You know, like super super similar. Like sim- seriously, snails taste taste like mushrooms. Like nothing basically. Would I eat surstroming the rotten fish in a can? Yeah, I would eat that. I know it's it smells horrible, but that, that's like pretty mild. Like whatever. Mild, I mean, compared to the balut, for example. Like the balut scares me more. What Canadian meal is like that? Only you guys like it. Is there anything weird in Canada that like other cultures find it super like not crazy? Here. Not here. Like um, maybe Inuits and stuff have like um, yeah. So probably in- Inuits Inuits eat uh, rotting fish. And also, I'm guessing uh, uh, salt preserved stuff. Uh, I'm not sure about Smoked that. Smoked stuff. Mm, I think rotting fish is a the thing they do. Um, they also do uh, whale blubber. Yeah, whale stuff. Uh, in Nova Scotia, they eat seal flipper. Yeah. Um, and I've heard in BC they eat uh, moose nose. That yeah, okay. But I've had I have, no, none of these tried things. Any of these. I've never even seen I any guess... of these things in Ontario. I've never seen any of them. Yeah, I guess it's like. So uh... I, I don't know. It, the, yes, Canada has some things, but where most people live, those things aren't there. Canada is huge, and in the north, the conditions are much harsher. Like, completely different. So I guess all of these things you find that you find them in places where the conditions traditionally have been so much harsher that food was much more scarce. So they had to come up with alternative like food than just wheat. Uh, so no, we haven't like we don't have in Ontario anything of like that. I haven't been a, given a chance to try. Iceland has that rotten fermented shark stuff. I think it's the yeah. same story, honestly. No, no, no. The, their sharks are poisonous. They have to. The in Iceland. Yes. Okay. They have to like rot and like uh, age. The the aging. Uh, like releases most of the ammonia and you can like not be sick from eating it at that point okay good i, I got another one i i actually i i forgot about that coffee fermented in bird of monkey or monkey poop hmm. i actually thought it was cat poop i don't is it monkey poop i i i really thought it was cat poop but yeah it's literally uh beans that one of these animals eat them eats them they poop them and uh, they collect them and they then grind them, clean them, I don't know how, and then grind them and make them into coffee. And apparently that's like super expensive and they say it's the best. <laughs> Why stop at monkeys? Why not? Why not just have like a herd of people? <laughs> If it was that exquisite, uh, how I, bad would it be to poop out little coffee beans? Same reason people eat lobster. Oh, come on. Lobster is good. Lobster does have taste. I don't agree with that. Lobster does have taste. It's not like just with the butter. Would we eat a durian in our house? Dude, I don't even cook with a slow cooker in our house. When we cook with a slow cooker, I put it in the garage. Because no smell is going to stink everything up here no no everything outside 